Right, welcome to another video from DIY PC Repairs. This time I'm going to take a look at how to repartition your hard drive at the point in which you're going to install Windows 7. We're just going to cover how to delete partitions, remake partitions and then format and install. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to restart this computer. Now this is already set to boot from DVD but we'll just check. So in this instance we press F2 to get into the BIOS and then we shift along to the boot and you can see there that we've got CD at the top and hard drive so we just hit escape and then we just hit enter it's going to save and then we hit enter again okay this is going to boot reboot the computer and it's going to ask us to boot from DVD we press any key and there we go we're into the Windows install phase okay and now we're going to enter the graphical part of the install right so at this point we're going to select which country we're in. We're in the UK here, so we click UK, we hit next. And this is going to offer us the install now button, which uh, we're going to click on there. I've got a video on the channel covering how to clean install format and install Windows 7. Um, on this video I'm just going to concentrate on how to repartition during the install phase. We accept the license terms, click next, and we're going to do a custom install right here we go so this is going to tell us now the partitions that we've got on this system now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all these partitions um, I just want one big one so we'll start on the bottom partition there and then we hit options in the advanced list there and then we just hit delete uh, all data will be lost make sure you've got your files backed up before you do this um, because you will lose everything this is going to wipe the drives completely um, to the point that it's going to actually delete the whole system and start again. Um, so we're just going to hit OK there. That's going to delete that. So you'll notice now that we've got 10 gig of annihilated space. We're then going to go to the next partition and do the same again. So we've got partition 2, it's just shy of 15 gig there. So we're going to hit delete. Again, the warning to make sure that your files are, you back, you back your files up. And then we've just got this one partition left which we're going to delete click OK. OK so now what's happened there is we've got one big unallocated space of 25 gig and I just want one partition so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click new here and it's going to give us as maximum drive size or maximum partition size um, so I'm just going to click apply um, it does ask you to create or it might create additional partitions for file systems and files and whatever you um, click OK. Okay, so you'll notice that it's created this system reserved area here. Um, don't worry too much about that. What we've got underneath it here is our 25 gig, or again just shy of 25 gig partition. Um, this partition is now going to need formatting, so again we just highlight that and click format and we'll click OK once we've read through that again I'm not too worried about losing data or anything on this system there's you know once you've you previously deleted a partition there's nothing left to lose okay so now it's formatted the partition that we want to install Windows on all we simply do now is click next and Windows will begin the install right and that's basically it that's how to install uh, Windows 7 and deal with partitioning a hard drive at the same time. So any partition you've got there, delete it and and then recreate the partition, the size of the partition you'd like. Once you've created that partition, format it and then pick that partition and install Windows. Um, check out the channel, got more videos on there covering um, a wide variety of things and uh, I'd like to thank you for viewing.